This is the IA Podcast, the proud creators of two Torbjorns and one cup. Today on the podcast, we have a very special guest who hopefully will be with us in future episodes. And, well, you know, since Overwatch has been released, take a guess what we're going to be talking about. <laughs> That's right. All the Overwatch. So, stick around. Should be good. Hello and welcome to the Insomniacs Anonymous podcast for episode 9. It's over 9. No, it's, not, it's just 9, right? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. It's over 9, yeah. It is just over 9. Actually, not really. It's just right at 9. Dude, Next... what the fucking shit? God damn it. I'm going to kick you in your cunt pants. So apparently and... next week. What? Next week is going to be over 9. This week is just what? 9. And Shro's playing Rocket League, I guess? I would assume he's no. playing Rocket League. because no, It's actually not Rocket League. Okay. I don't believe you. Um, I should play Rocket League during a podcast. That would be hella entertaining. <laughs> I mean, maybe, but at that point, it would just be Shro saying, spitting out all the explicitives, and we would just be so horribly, horribly horrified and confused. I'll just take and... screenshots of all of you just with your mouth agape, like, Oh my god, I can't believe he just, like, weird speech bubbles. Did he just say that? Oh my god, he just said that. Uh, good times. So, by the way, so who's here? Let's start off with the list. Down the list, to my left, we have Schrodinger's Cat. I meow. And we have Dude Run. <laughs> That's my line! Joking <laughs> on dick. And we have Mel. <laughs> and we have... Victor Von Groove, otherwise known as Renary. How's it going? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Who took my shit? <laughs> so what have you guys been up to since the last time we recorded? Oh, you Masturbating. Know what been up to? <laughs> well, I do know what most of you guys have been up to. Um, I'm always interested in Shro, though, because his is always, like, n has nothing to do with gaming most, yep, most of the time. It either involves some kind of, like, hard exams or or broken bones or, you know, some kind of shenanigans. <laughs> I just watched somebody on my team totally blow away one of his teammates. I thought you were about that to end it seems... at blow. Yeah, yeah, that's right. amazing. Oh yeah. my god, somebody was blowing my teammate right in front of my face. <laughs> Brian, you know what you have to do now? What do I have since to do? You have the, uh, since you're editing this, you could make Shro say... That's true, you could cut blow. it. I just saw my teammate blow one of my other teammates. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's what's going to have to happen then. We're going to do that. <laughs> uh, so, Shro, anything that you want to share with us this week? As far um, as let's see. What is interesting? Um, it was so humid and hot today at work that I chafed my balls. Oh, my. What? Um, there, brother. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, and I don't think I was the only one either. <laughs> that what? seems um, super uncomfortable. It's even more uncomfortable oh, when there's no. totally this little, like, dachshund mix puppy that her favorite thing to do in the world is to jump on your leg, grab it with both paws, and you think I'm about to say hump you, but I'm not. No, she climbs up your leg and starts biting your junk. Oh. She thinks it's the greatest thing in the world. This is like, hi, oh my god, does it hurt when I bite you here? <laughs> What kind of a sadistic dog is this? I don't know! Wow. Like, no, ow! No, ow! No, ow! <laughs> my, my, our co-workers all look at us males like, what the what the hell's wrong with you? What's what's going on over there? She's, ow, biting me on the, ow, dick, ow! <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, you might, your levels might be spiking out at this point. Yeah, probably. <laughs> um... And, um, I kind of sort of turned into a Terminator for like an hour today as I was helping my friend repaint his car, which is silver, and the paint spilled all over my hand. Oh, damn. Oh, and I Wait. got a free, free Chipotle burrito. 
Oh, okay. Well, I mean, as long as he got food out of it, then that's pretty good. Well, so the fun part was, is he was going to buy my food anyways, but apparently I was so off-putting or something to the Chipotle workers that when they were confused by the idea of him buying me food, um, and he had walked out of line to go fill his cup with water, I'm like, hey, did you pay for me already? Or, like, you got to, oh, no, no, shit, I didn't do that. I'll be right. And the lady just was like, no, just fine. Just go. Just go. I'm like, I, but I didn't pay. Just go. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> fine. <laughs> Jesus. And he's like, what? What happened? I don't know what happened. So they just gave you. Uh, yeah, they did. And I didn't ask. Nope. Didn't, 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 what is going on? I don't know. Stop what? asking me that. Did you, <laughs> did you look like a hobo at that point? I or don't something? know. <laughs> It's like it's like this person has played a horrible prank on this hobo, and I don't want him here any longer. Just take the damn food and go away. Pretty much. Some, something along those lines. It's kind of mean. It is kind of mean. That's discrimination. It is. In a positive way, because you got free food out of it, but still. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, you, you saved your, your friend, like, what, $12 or something? Because Chipotle is expensive. So there was positive discrimination? Um, I guess in this yeah, case, maybe. I honestly, I, I honestly think it was I was. I mean, what? A long time ago. Of the situation. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like positive discrimination would be something like not wanting an incompetent player to be on your Overwatch team. Right? Could There's too many of them. There's too many of them. <laughs> Especially at night. Though. I would be a sniper. <laughs> yeah, that was me sniper. earlier. I would be a sniper. <laughs> <laughs> we I need a tank. Some pills no, with it, but, uh... Oh, dude. All right, I'll be a tank. Nope, no, I'm their tank. Why? Because <laughs> I just want to be a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Ranieri has uh, has played with quite a bit of incompetent people, from the sounds of it. Have oh, yeah. you? And, uh... and for the record, Mia or whatever her name is, what's her name? May. May. Salty cunt. Fucking hater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten a few kills off. I'm starting to feel like we need May like a the, like a swear word tally. The kick me in the dick. <laughs> oh god, in the dick. Yeah. Oh man. But you know what? Yeah, totally salty. But you know what, man? We played a game with all maze, and it was the best thing ever. Let's Should see. be worth noting that this was during the brawl where all the cooldowns for skills and stuff were doubled. And was the HP double speed, doubled as well? So, yeah. yeah. So the HP, HP doubled, doubled well. and the cooldowns halved. Halved. Yeah. Yeah, halved. halved. That, that word. Those words. <laughs> so it was pretty much an amazing game. Let's just put it that way. An amazing game. A may. May. Yes. All the may <laughs> puns. <laughs> and luckily, I actually recorded the entire thing, so we'll have to put it up somewhere. Very yeah, soon. I was about to ask where that was. Yeah, you know what? I don't really... Windows 10 doesn't actually come with a movie maker thing. Did you know that? You can uh, download one, and I know of a couple you could use. Okay, so yeah, just or, let me know. We'll, we'll talk about that after the podcast. About, okay. Like, you know, what kind you, you would recommend, and then we'll we'll see about getting that. Because I was honestly just going to do, like, a straight-up just movie maker, cut, cut down, you know, the parts that we don't need, and then just post it online. You can also give it to me. I can do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that works. It's like, uh, I think it's almost like a two and a half gig file or something. I'll put it on Dropbox. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah. I'll be fine. Isn't this great podcasting, guys? Hey, we're, just like, we're just doing all the all the 20 st- minutes things. of technical talk and hey! stuff. Let's move on. <laughs> oh, my God. But let's talk about Overwatch, please, because this game is fucking amazing. And it's oh finally God, out. Yes. Finally, amazing. like, we're... <laughs> We're past the whole eh, eh. beta not being here. Like, the game is finally out. And needless to say, I kind of broke down and bought a couple of loot boxes. <laughs> you are what? terrible and need to uninstall yes. the game. I'm not going to do that. There's no way I'm going to do that. Okay. We're not even a week in yet. <laughs> no, I was like, what, like three days in or something? I don't know. For when did it come shame. out? I know. You are this weak. Is, this is coming. Okay, this is coming from a guy that played TF2 for almost ten years now. However old that game is, because I was in it since the beta, and never purchased any of the keys for those loot crates once they were available in game. Never purchased anything for that game. And as soon as this game came out, I'm like, loot boxes. That's awesome. Oh, I need I some need more. more. Well, if I had the money, I would do that. But <laughs> like a dumbass, I prepaid for No Man's Sky, and that's never coming out. So. 
Oh. I'm so angry about that. <laughs> I like how they pushed it back like two months and you are just livid. You could be dead in two months. I mean, you could <laughs> be dead tomorrow. You could be dead in the next a hour. A week is a, is a, it's an eternity for me, damn it. This might Imagine be the only podcast you ever do because you die this moment we sign off. You never fucking know. This it's entire really podcast morbid. is dedicated to the memory of Victor Von Groove. <laughs> it really is dedicated to the memory of Rin. Now we need to have like. Remember that time when he was this. on the podcast? Yep. <laughs> that one a... time, and then he like kind of died while we were recording. It was really <laughs> awkward because you know we didn't really want to stop because we kind of had to finish this thing, you know. So it's really not funny. Kinda... <laughs> <laughs> so we just kind of played it off, you know, like we could have Bernie style, you know, like. Oh, he's just... quite the actor. <laughs> Put a hole, but yeah, put, just put a blanket over it. Yeah, we're good. And then you write on his. Here are the door. paramedics in the background. Put wait for No Man's Sky. Clear. <laughs> <laughs> don't even know what's going on, but I love it. Oh. We all got too excited. We kind of did, yeah. Honestly, I almost. <laughs> I had of to. dying. <laughs> <laughs> I had to stop myself from actually purchasing more loot crates too. I, on, I only purchased five, and I think it was like, what? Yeah, like, you were asking for help already. I, <laughs> I was like, okay, I should maybe, maybe can I get away with 10? But you know what? If I purchase like 40 of them for $40 <laughs> or something, like that's a pretty good deal. You know, like I'm, I'm saving money at that point. But yeah, so thankfully I've only purchased five for, for now. You'll never have to purchase a loot box again. <laughs> pretty much. At 40, you pretty much get, like, almost everything you want. And it, and I would assume you'd get enough currency so then you can actually purchase whatever you didn't want, you didn't get, but you really wanted, so. Yep. It's only, like, you know, spending $80 for, like, a game. Actually, it would be more than that for me. I just want more skins. Yeah. <laughs> All the skins. Does anybody, what are your favorite skins right now? And for what characters? Um, I got a pretty badass, uh... One for Shadow, I think. For which one? Her character. Her character Reaper. Name? Reaper. God, I'm Reaper. never going to get that Reaper. name. I keep forgetting him. Oh, he's my favorite character. Okay, which... Yeah. Uh, he's got which a skull skin? mask. He's got a guitar on his back. Oh, my God, no! Oh, Mary Dude. Dude. No. That was just a <laughs> random, too. No. Well, I Brian wanted it. <laughs> That's Brian the skin made. that I wanted. Oh, oh man. And you, got it, and you got yeah. it as a random? Mm hmm. Oh my god. Guess I hate, what I'm going to do? I hate you so I really, I really die. hope you die mid podcast now. <laughs> okay. This is why you don't buy Jesus. <laughs> well then. Uh, wow, that's okay. Wishes you know do come true. <laughs> I am like 300, um, 300 currency in, so. Only 700 more to go until I can finally get that skin. But wait, did you get the black one or the white one? White. Okay, not as jealous anymore. <laughs> well, someone's uh, Caucasian phobic, uh, I guess. Did you want me to partially die? Yeah, you know, maybe just choke intensely for a while, you know. Like a choke intensely. <laughs> uh, we're, we're certainly finding out who my friends are. <laughs> Uh, Pete, I just want you to mildly die. Okay. <laughs> uh, Still alive, kind of. <laughs> want you to I need, very I need you to be die. just a little bit more dead. Like, lose one more health point. <laughs> that a boy. That's perfect. Uh, how about you, dude, Run? Do you have a favorite skin right now? Um, Not really. I've been looking for a few, but there's not really anything I like. Okay. Not even as not even as May, and she's like my favorite right now. Really? Which one does she Isn't have that again? Abominable? She has a lot of like really thick clothing stuff. Like there's a firefighter one. It looks cool, but there's not really anything I like. Uh, Is there a, uh, a skin where like May falls one. over and you know sand comes out of her veg? <laughs> <laughs> I think I need some context for this one. I owned his, I owned Ranieri's, oh, sorry, Victor Von Groove's ass. Kicked the shit out of me yesterday. La ass last night. 
And oh, I he scream. wanted to fly out to my house and kick me in the dick. Yeah. I, I wow. was actually, I was looking for plane tickets. I was like, I don't remember where he lives, but I'll just fly over to the East Coast somewhere and look for him. Just go on every door, every just house. Just bomb the <laughs> East Coast. I'll hit you eventually. Are you dude? Who? Boom! <laughs> oh, man. That sounds intense. <laughs> Uh, how about you, is uh, Mel still here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which uh, what was your what favorite skin? What the hell? What? What's your favorite skin so far? Oh, uh, the Imp Mercy. I really want that one. That one's a cool one. Silver got it. That's a random. Oh. Uh. You should punch him in the throat as well. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't do. <laughs> He's actually hearing Silver. I, I heard Silver in the background there. <laughs> Love you, Silver. Love you, Silver. And um, then there's the contest for uh, the sniper chick. Because she really uh, looks Widowmaker. French. And then she has an, an emote wherein she bows. So it really fits. Nice. <laughs> yeah, see, like, they, they have a lot of cool skins. I'm hoping, like, they'll be adding a lot more in the near future. Which, oh. I mean, yes. How about the incoming support sniper? Which one? You guys didn't he it haven't heard? Mm. Oh, incoming yeah, I've support seen sniper. rumors of it, but not really anything confirmed. Okay, okay, tell me, what There's is this? A, sorry, I'll let me, no, I'm not sure it. if it was just a rumor. Okay, what's the rumor? An incoming support sniper. Oh, there was a video that I guess it was like Blizzard HQ video, but someone was playing Overwatch and there was this sniper looking character on screen that was not Widowmaker and it's completely new and it looked like one of the robot characters you see in one of the trailers that had just artwork and nothing really mentioned about them. Okay. So... New sniper, maybe, but they're in the support area. That's so, no, no. Okay, so like almost like, is it like a sniper, as in like Hanzo sniper, or like actual gun sniper? Like gun sniper, it looks like but a gun they're sniper. in the yeah, okay. gun sniper, but they're in like the healing group of people. Right, right, right. Okay, that could be interesting. I mean, you know, like it. Does like long range damage and can still like heal your group up from the from the back, and or you know like snipe to your own teammates with like really powerful heals or something. <laughs> you have to snipe your own teammates. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna heal you. Bam! Headshot. <laughs> <laughs> Accidentally uh, shoot them in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right the, the sandy vagina. <laughs> <laughs> oh man any favorite maps that anybody has at the moment i hate the, i know uh, i hate the junk tower <laughs> i dislike the um the, the defend you know capture defend oh the king of the hell thing yeah i hate the those i'm not mess. liking those too much i'm loving cp and payload a lot those are about the only other ones anyway but still Mm -hmm. I yeah, like no. the mixes. Oh, Capture the one where like you can like, yeah, yeah, that one's fun. The um, the Hollywood one, that one's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Yeah. And, and if you know, if so you know that the map is really difficult, it feels really good if you win it. This is true. This is so true. And as Reaper, honestly, it's just the funnest thing to just kind of go around and like kill all the things and from behind and just being suicidal. Honestly, I th as I said before, I think Reaper is my character. I hardly ever play anything else unless it really needs to be played. But that game is so good. There's so many, um, so many little Easter eggs that I'm still finding out even today. Like uh, in that Hollywood map, right? There's actually they have street signs, and one of them is called Goldshire Street or something along those lines. Yeah, oh. yeah, that's pretty cool. Ah. You notice this because you just go around. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So how many hours have you guys put into the game now? Um, I don't know. 
not is there a way enough. to tell um well i guess you can tell by going to your career profile and then just looking at the hours you put in into each character you can kind of get a rough idea mm. like that um certainly i've put in at least over 12 hours now for sure mm. oh definitely over 12 hours <laughs> well no for sure you because you guys are in your 20s now i'm still somewhere in the mid 10s as far as career level i'm like really really loving zunyata right now i never thought i'd get to that character because yeah, he looked really yeah. difficult at first yeah it really does eh? like it just you're kind of floating in the air and it just seems very kind of like he's so squishy unconventional and Oh, he's totally squishy. Like, I love... Whenever like, I get to sniper, Sunyata... Mm -hmm. A sniper doesn't even need to headshot me to, like, one-shot. Yeah, that's how squishy he is. Honestly. Like, whenever I come up to Zenyatta as Reaper, I'm just like, this is gonna be a fun time. Because I know, like, <laughs> two shots in, he's like, he's dead. And that's I've if I do body shots. I've had where Reapers run away from me for some reason. Really? Yeah. Oh. That's weird. Yeah, for the most part, like, Zenyatta's is like, Psh, whatever, yo. I got this. <laughs> um, One of my... Oh, man. The ones that I really worry about is usually Tracer, if they're, like, a really good Tracer player. And yeah, I hate them, too. Yeah, uh, Genji's, because they move really fast. Uh, Genji. <laughs> Genji. Genji, if I catch them uh, doing the deflect, I could like wait for it to go down mm -hmm. and then shred them with Zenyatta. Nice. Yeah, see, I feel like a, a good strategy for Genji is like really like pay attention whenever he's using that deflect. And as soon as he yeah. starts using that deflect, go up to him and start punching the hell out of him while he's doing that. <laughs> and then as soon as, that, as soon as that goes down, then you pull out your guns and you shoot him in the face. For the most part, that usually works okay. It's It's been a strategy I've been using. Well, I, not so much a strategy as just, you know, normal, regular common sense. But it's Do you guys have any it. idea how to, like, counter a Bastion? Yes, um, but right I need a... Right now is a problem of everyone. Yes, but I usually... I need, a, I need a teammate to do that. Because what I do yeah. is I go into Wraith mode and I go right behind him. And at that point, he's got to either turn for me or turn for my teammate. So that is how I would counter him. But I can't. I usually can't do it alone, unless if I'm sneaking oh, around. Sneak. Other than that, I mean, that's pretty much the only strategy I really have. I don't know. Does has anybody have any any clues, any ideas? To what take out what? Sorry. To take out Bastion. A uh, ranged attack. Yep. Range, range, and range. Yes. <laughs> I could see if, that. If a good Reinhardt is with us. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, fine. Reinhardt's really good at that. Mm. Unless know, I, the Bastion's mm. in turret form, then you might want to find the more cover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when it's in turret form, that is just... Oh, man. That is the only problem with Bastion. Any other form is yeah. fine. Just, well, okay. <laughs> okay Pretty much ultimate? just the ultimate form. Oh, God. I can't even. I. It's so you have to kill him to quick, him. but you have more of a window <laughs> than he, you do in turret mode. Yep. But the thing also is, like, he's got more armor. I think when he's in ultimate mode, doesn't he? A little bit, but you can it still. Like it. You have enough room to move around him, so long as you're not like caught in his blast. Mm -hmm. If you're a Farah, you could probably avoid him. True. 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 Bastion has already actually been nerfed. Oh really? Has he really? Yeah. It really doesn't feel like it because whenever he has a I get up close, shield or... he has what? Wait, did, did a he... one thousand shield. May I? Oh, okay. Did he what have like it? a two thousand or something? Alright, hello. What it's all about? Okay. Um. Okay. Bastion back then had a frontal shield that basically blocks anything in front of it for one thousand damage. Basically, half the shield of Reinhardt. Oh the God. drawback was he could only rotate at a certain angle, like let's say only 180 degrees in front of him. Now, what they did was they gave him a full 360 degree field of view, but no more frontal shield. 
Oh, okay. So huh? that's, that's a bit of a... Well, I mean, it, it's a, it's not so much as a nerf, as more of a compromise at that point. Because it's not... Because he's a lot more mobile now. Just... Again, the best... In my opinion, the best way to... The best thing to do is Wraith form straight into him to get behind him. And then hopefully your teammates know enough what's going on to, like, shoot him whenever he turns around. Yeah. If he turns around. Usually, you know what? I used to be scared of uh, of Torbjorn or whatever his name is. Oh, and his and his turret, but I feel like they might have nerfed him a little bit or something because nowadays now people are just learning how to counter him. It could be that because nowadays I'm just like I I wraith form to get up closer to him and then just go to town on his turret and then go to town on him and it's just like it's super easy for me now. Before really? I was like, yeah, be- before I was like, oh my God, like I would just run away every time because there was, I felt like there was no way to like actually kill him. If we have, if we have a Reinhardt, I can, I can actually snipe him with a Zenyatta. Oh, can you? <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, Cause Zenyatta has a charge attack. Right. Yes, 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 yes. Whenever you do the alt mouse button or mouse button two. Like yeah. the, anim- the animation for that character is really cool, actually. Yeah, Whatever. I want to get. I want to have a play of the game with Zenyatta just because the play of the game clips are so intense. Yeah, like I mean, he does the whole hand thing, and when he's reloading, it's like, it's really cool. Yeah. And uh, hopefully, I'm there That's to see it when, if whenever you do happen to have a play of the game with Zenyatta, hopefully, I'm there because it is very cool. It's a very cool looking character. I personally don't think. I personally don't think I'd be able to play him effectively or him or her effectively but it's a very cool character for sure it was one of the first characters that really kind of stood out to me as being really different whenever when the uh game was first announced because most of them it's just kind of like you know it was always like okay there's a dwarf guy okay there's like a sniper guy (laughs) okay there's a there's an emo guy with like two shotguns whatever but he was like really like you know like he's floating in the air and he's got like all these like balls around his face, you know. <laughs> was, <laughs> is that personal experience? When he crouches, Brian? he just goes up and down. <laughs> Pretty much, yes. <laughs> and then we start singing, "I can show you the world." <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So yeah, you know, it's um, it's definitely a fun game. There's definitely still a lot more to learn about it. Uh, for for me, anyways. And uh, I'm having a lot of fun playing with you guys, honestly. Even though if we do end up losing a lot of the time, it is still very, very fun. <laughs> we should have a uh, Overwatch live stream. Yeah, we totally should. Yeah. And then I know what's wrong with my net, or what's been wrong with my net for the past uh... week. I've been using Wi-Fi to stream, and that's terrible. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's made my streams unstable and made all my frames drop and stuff. And yeah, that's not good. Are you gonna? Are you able to switch over to a wired? Connection? Oh yeah, I I have a cable now, so I can use that. But it's okay, just nice. been an issue in the past, and now it's not. So yay. Okay, that's good. So you haven't had any problems ever since you hardwired. Oh God, no. Okay, good. Yeah, so we'll definitely have to get together and kind of, you know, stream something. Hell to the yeah yeah. yeah. Do, can like you I'm see- trying to get that set up now. Like I'm getting it ready to do that. I just need to finish some things up and then do it okay nice <gasps> so yeah well, let's what? let's definitely plan are that. we gonna future now? overwatch stream no no no, no. Oh, future yeah future future <laughs> in the future <laughs> in the future on youtube da- on youtube gaming.com sorry sure. podcast over streaming now <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> pretty yeah. much I was wondering if we could stream these podcasts but that's a later thing anyway moving on Yes, so, yeah, we'll definitely stream, well, Dude Run will stream on YouTube, and then I'll stream on Twitch, you know, cover all our bases, and, and then we'll, we'll have, have time. chat arguments like, to see which is better. <laughs> exactly. Or who's exactly. worse, actually, in terms of gameplay, <laughs> like, is Brian from... worse, or is Dude worse? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I honestly, I wish it was better with Tracer, because Tracer is a really fun character to play. Yeah. And you just kind of zip in and out, and... You can kind of rewind, and you have the whole bomb thing that you throw out at people, and they're like, She's "Oh my god, what is annoying this?" Annoying in brawl. Oh my god, it's oh, so yeah. annoying. 
She's self-sufficient. She in is brawl. made to harass, and she does it better in the brawl. <laughs> oh, oh my god! I propose an all theme Zarya in brawl. Okay, I'm down for that. She's yeah, we should freaking do that. annoying. It definitely is. Okay, <laughs> we should definitely do that. So, what do you guys think? I mean, could this be the next uh, TF2 night type of thing now? Pretty much for us, yeah. Please! I can't <laughs> I would love to do that. Do anymore. At least, like, have a section for Overwatch and then a section for TF2, since not everyone here has Overwatch. I guess that's this true. Is true. This is yeah. true. I mean, TF2 doesn't even really have a section. Yeah, I mean, like, not a section, but more like a time slot where oh. we play a bit of game and then we play a bit of another game and then whoop. I mean,. I don't know. The only reason we might have to split the time slots is if you guys wanted to do it during TF2 night. But if you oh, wanted yeah. to make an Overwatch night, you totally could. Or if enough people playing TF2 don't give a shit about it anymore, we could replace TF2 night. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see what happens. You know. Um, Every I, night I, is Overwatch night. Pretty yeah. much. I mean, at this point, that's kind of so. what it is. Uh, so the I'm only having other bad thing... luck with the. Oh, sorry. You no, first. go ahead. Go ahead. I'm uh, I'm noticing like all the cues and stuff end up being stacked in favor or against you when you do th Overwatch at night. So I'm probably gonna stick to daytime. Oh, fair enough. Holy dicks. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know for sure. I mean, um, as far as Overwatch goes, I mean, we have a lot of people that are back in back into the whole gaming thing with like Sockmed is now in overwatch and along with like a couple of his other friends and stuff like that so it would be really cool to to kind of set up a, an overwatch dedicated night you know mm. um, funny thing is like when i was playing tim fortress 2 the other day and i was just playing as a scout a scout um <laughs> the scoot? I, I kept the scoot? i kept pressing shift Hoping I would rate, <laughs> I would wraith form or something. I was like, "Why is this not working? I need to GTFO right now." <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it was so bad. It was so bad. I'm like, I I felt like I was already, you know, I, I was already on Overwatch like mode. There's there's no going back now. I have to like calm myself before sleeping or eating because while I'm doing other stuff, I'm playing the game in my head. <laughs> really so freaking annoying oh yeah. my god that actually you know what that actually happened to me too during the beta it's weird <laughs> like you're you're sleeping and all of a sudden you know you hear like a reinhardt just like screaming oh. at you and i'm just like why can't i just go to sleep i just want to sleep <laughs> yeah i'm trying to figure out how am i gonna counter that one what could i do with this map <laughs> I got oh four hours left to sleep, but the only thing that's on my mind is why did the point of turret? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I could just see us completely like just nerding out on this game and just like having like a whole whiteboard of like you know every of every <laughs> map layout, every <laughs> yeah every map layout, and being okay, guys. This is what we're gonna call this section A. This is where we're gonna set up the turret. This is what we're gonna do. Okay, Brian, you're gonna go around this corner, and we're gonna call that like Plan A, three, two, B, whatever. You know. Sometimes like, me and Silver goes to a custom game and then start testing stuff out. Like, oh, how much is this damage? How can you counter <laughs> this one? Look That's at this awesome. ball. It has a trap. That is amazing. Oh, man. We'll have, like, all these different strategies and different plays and call them different things. Sort of like American <laughs> football, you know? It's going to be awesome, guys. And um, I ended up seeing one of, um, I think, one of your friends, Mel, who um, her who goes by Ace, um, posted, like, a video of, of Torbjorn, some kind of an animation thing. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, uh, what's it called? Underwatch? Yes, Underwatch. From oh the makers God. of... They, they've made like a, a bunch of Blizzard stuff, yeah. Yeah, StarCraft. Cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so funny because... Looking I'm... forward to more of that. Oh, for sure, yeah. And it was so funny because in the video, what you see is like, 
you see Torbjorn, who's like the little dwarf guy with uh, who who builds a turret. Sort of like the engineer in TF2. So he finishes building the turret, and as soon as he's done, he gets an arrow to the face and dies. And then you see and then like the, slips the, off. And it's yeah, so then the turret is just like killing things, it's like the guy's dead, and then the bodies drop, 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 and then drops on, on the dwarf guy and Torbjorn, and then Torbjorn just like kind of falls over onto the garbage <laughs> can, and then more bodies he drop, falls and then the trash <laughs> Torbjorn. And, Torbjorn and then um, Torbjorn. And, uh, and Tracer also kind of falls down dead from the turret and is like, play of the game. He's <laughs> like, ah. oh, so good. I definitely am looking forward to more of those. It's I can't even I can't even play anything else, honestly. Like I'm not I I still need to finish my character in Diablo three for the current season. Haven't touched that. Work. What's that? I can't fucking work. Yeah, see, you can't work. I have deadlines to do. And like, <laughs> I, I put in one hour of work and I'm like, you know, it would be really nice to play Overwatch right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just that kind of game right now. You know, it's it's so good. It's so new. It's just, you just want it all over you right now. I hope it doesn't die down. This is no. too good. I know, right? Hopefully not. And did you guys see uh, online how they have like the like, those giant size figures? Like, totally yes. Cool. How awesome is that? Uh, I want to wear one. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, I wish you would have had one here somewhere in Canada, like in Toronto or something. That would have been so awesome to be able to be part of that and just take photos of that. But mm -hmm. the only, I think they only had three of them, right? Yeah, right now. They had a Genji, they had a Pharah, and a Tracer. I think. Have you guys been reading the comics though? I no. have not. Oh, like, did. as in official comics? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I haven't seen any of those. The newest one is Torbjorn. Really? Okay. You? I'll have to check that out. I've been watching the animation shorts. Oh, the animation shorts. Yeah. Oh, my God. Did, did awesome. you guys see the last one? Which is uh, Soldier the Soldier 76, 76 one. Yeah. yeah. That was fucking glorious. That totally was. All the heartwarming, all the feels. And These I'm are your strengths. <laughs> 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 oh. oh man! Honestly, though, the animation <laughs> level on that, like, I know it's been said before, but like, Pixar level, honestly. Blizzard knows how to make a good short film. They do, and they better at least make some kind of movie at some point on their own without some need of a director making something of theirs i mean they need to make a movie themselves oh yeah god damn sure. it i mean i'm looking forward to the warcraft movie but yeah, yeah i mean they're not they're not using the music guy you know from from blizzard they're not using it's like i mean really they're not using a lot of the talent behind what you know makes world of warcraft or Warcraft the world of warcraft oh because they're busy making world of warcraft stuff or working on other games from blizzard which makes sense but you gotta at least have somebody that you can consult exactly yeah. as, as, as at least as some kind of a consulting person but yeah. it, it, it you know what that's kind of the way hollywood is i guess movie industry but uh, hopefully, if they ever do end up making one, like they gotta be a lot more involved, you know. Like, I mean, remember the trading card games, right? Like, I mean the um, the the physical TGC, TCG. Uh, I've World never Warcraft. played World of Warcraft TCG. It was basically like uh, made by Cryptozoid, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, like okay, whatever. Like Blizzard kind of had some say in it, but other than that, it was just like it didn't really go well, apparently. But then all of a sudden, so they scrapped that, and then Blizzard's like, you know what? Let's make our own game, and let's make it digital. And then you got Hearthstone, and that is a pretty awesome game, if I do say so myself. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. I do like how it's, you, know, you don't need to spend too much money to work with a deck, and you can just kind of get the cards your own, on your own, but you do need to spend money. Get the dungeon packs and shit which i'm not happy about that's true or you need to save up a lot of gold in order to get yeah. it 
I am, I've been saving up for that for a while and uh, it's tough when you're not playing like, you know, every day. So yeah, it really is. Very yeah, very tough. Mm. Then you go, then you end up going priest, a, you end up rolling a priest deck against a warrior deck that has a fucking, that, I forget what it's called, but it's that dwarf thing that, like, if you don't kill it when you attack it, it'll summon more. Oh god, what? With the same fucking effect. So you're just hearing a constant spam of, Everyone, get in here! Everyone, get in here! <laughs> and before you know it, their field is flooded with these fucking dwarves. And oh they, god. the guy just keeps attacking him. And attacking him, but not killing him! To summon more! And you just welcome the sweet embrace of death. Wow. So basically they're procreating as fast as bunnies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that seems really frustrating. That's why I don't play Hearthstone anymore. Oh, man. But hey, we used to play a lot of Heroes of the Storm, remember? All right, we, we stopped well, that. We stopped for Overwatch, but I, I'm, I'm still I, game for I'm that. more than willing to go back to Heroes. Yeah, I'm willing to play that. Yeah, we should definitely do that. Uh, yes. Yeah, Dude Run and uh, Victor. Renary. Victor Von Huge Piece. Ren, Vic, whatever. <laughs> Vin. Just call you Vin. Yeah, call me Vin. <laughs> Vin. <laughs> yeah, we should totally do that. Uh, I have a lot of fun with that. And Tracer was actually a really fun character to play in that game. Really? Yeah. yeah. We haven't done that yet. Yeah. She's out for everybody now, so you could, like, Either spend money or just spend gold if you got it. Mm -hmm. I already have her. I oh, think okay, I have, then. Cool. And, <clears throat> and I have about 22,000 gold in that game, too. So I can. Holy shit, I dude. I can definitely go spending. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Well, all right, then. Could definitely spend some, some cash there. So we'll have to get back to that for sure, and uh, you know, of course, we'll we'll go back to all the Overwatch, and I'm pretty sure we'll be talking about a lot more Overwatch in the days to come. Yes, hell yeah. Because... Welcome to Overwatch, where we Overwatch your Overwatch all the Overwatch and Overwatch in time. <laughs> watching over. <laughs> I'm Welcome sorry, to the Shrew. Overwatch Over podcast. We are over and something or what? We are over the moon for Overwatch because. <laughs> Everything else <laughs> is overrated. Oh, the over. <laughs> it's high noon. It's high noon somewhere. Die, in the die, world. Die. <laughs> die, die. I'm really die. amazed with uh, really, really savage Reinhardt's. Right? Right? Like, my God! Like I, I usually Holy I don't. Crap, <laughs> usually, I mean my percentage of winning a fight against a Reinhardt, I would say it's about anywhere from 75 to 85 percent where I would actually win out. And but then we meet the one. And then you meet the one, you know, like where it's just like okay. the savage. Where they, where they know what they're doing. It's so savage. Oh my god. It's like I can't I get I can't get in there, you know, it's it's brutal. It's really tough. And, um, yeah, actually, you know what? Silver is actually somewhat of a really savage Reinhardt player, too. If somewhat suicidal. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I remember that one, um, that one game in the, uh, that payload one. I think, what, what was it? The one in the, uh, the canyon one. Route 66? Route 66. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the one time he pushed me off the off the edge there and i was like oh my god i can't believe this happened <laughs> it was good times good times. we should custom game and then we just should. play against each other we definitely should you know what let's do that um very soon i'll talk to people like sock med and we'll try to get you know more people together enough so we can actually do like a versus thing oh my god yes and we'll make that happen i think that'll be fun who is sock med uh, socialized medicine socialized medicine it is a friend of ours that used to play t well still plays tf2 uh but from like a previous uh community that was uh with us i thought i was dude run <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> he's actually two people in reality split personality i'm like five <laughs> people in real life thank you oh there you much. go <laughs> oh, no, because oh, med. lost it we lost it <laughs> yeah.
Because of what, Mel? Pocket Med. From TF2. Oh, Pocket Med. Okay. <laughs> he was a... He, well, I wouldn't say pocket... He wasn't a pocket medic, but he was a medic, and he was really, really good at it. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. He probably still is. Mm -hmm. So I have a feeling he'd probably be the go-to medic person. Yeah. And you know what? Mercy is actually pretty similar to um, to TF2 Medic with the whole yeah. healing beam and all Healing that. beam, crits beam. Well, I say crits. It's more like damage boost beam. Mm -hmm. Doesn't uber people, but does revive them when they're yes, dead. Yes, which is even awesome. I think it's better. Yeah. Yep. If you can get a four-man heal... Oh. One thing I'm curious about oh, is uh, that was lame. One thing I'm curious about is do the heals from Lucio stack if you have another Lucio on the team? Oh, that's a good question. Because if so, then you I could probably so. double that. Want to try it out? I would love to. Let's just all go Lucio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's both go Lucio. In a, Let's do I want to say in controlled environment so we can pick it out. But, you know. <laughs> that sounds like a good threat, uh, a good theory to test out. Yeah, let's do that. Yes. And then before you know it, as I said, uh, map schematics on a whiteboard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know whiteboard. We could just download the thing. That's true. I'm sure somebody's done it, or we could make our own. Yes, we could. <laughs> it will so not be to any kind of scale. It's like this room Dang. is like five times bigger than it should be compared to the other room, but as long as we get our point across, that's all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let's you know what? I am stoked to get back to some more Overwatch. But uh do we yes. have anything else in the news that we want to talk about? I wanted to talk about some YouTube drama, but I don't think we have enough time to really discuss it, so maybe for next time. Sure, yeah, I'm down for that. Let's let's do that next time. Okay. All right. Um, you know what, guys? Let's yeah, let's call it a day then. It was really fun talking with you guys again. And um we'll see you again next week. We are kind of um yeah, we're pushing about forty five minutes right now. So we kind of do want to keep it short because some of us want to play Overwatch and some of us have things to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> but we will be back. I can't go. But we will be back next week. So um thank you so much guys for being here and to you guys listening thank you so much for taking the time to listen to us and uh on behalf of myself shro dude run mel and renary yo um yeah goodbye and we'll see you next week good night good night bye. say bye good everybody. night Goodbye. Also, can I get? Can you kiss my finger, Brian? Good night, everybody. What? Can you kiss my hand, Brian? Kiss your hand. Kiss my hand. Please. Why would kiss I kiss your hand? Kiss because I want to feel like I'm my boss. Just for a <laughs> second. Fine, let me kiss your hand. That that wasn't my hand. Oh, it's certainly what? big like your oh. hand. <laughs> uh, Bye.